So, I'm back. Oh, my God. This is like the worst opening Guns, ever. Ammo and I'm back. Stranger. <laughs> like, you need odds, ends, junk, or knickknacks. Yes, I just... Come to the right place. No, I don't need your whole spiel, dude. I'm here to buy. Let's That's cut the true. shit. It's a post-apocalyptic world. Sell me your trinkets. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Dog meat found something. I hope dog meat found me a new life. Because I've, honest to God, seen white dog shit that had a more promising felt future than me. I'm, 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 uh, I'm tired. I'm stressed out. Uh, I'd like to say to my younger viewers, if you can, don't grow up. Because the second you get older, all of a sudden, well, if you're a male, try not to grow up. Because the second you get older, there'll be so many women in your life dropping shit at your doorstep that I honestly wish I was gay. Because I feel like if I was gay, I could totally be exempt from it all. Oh my god, I need help. Sorry, I'm gay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a straight man. Meaning that I could dump off all my emotional garbage on you. Could you fix my car? Ew, that tire looks nasty. Oh, I forgot. You're gay, so that means I can't perpetually manipulate you of my sexuality. And then lead you on into believing that I have more interests and desires in you than I actually do. And then the second that you become disheartened or disgruntled by me emotionally or mentally manipulating you, I will quickly scream patriarchy and call you a rapist or some shit. Now deal with my problems. Sorry, still gay. Can I hang out with you? No. Then you'll just try to make me your fun, interesting gay friend to make your more boring, heterosexual female life interesting. I know so many women that seriously act like that. I mean, for real. Like, they'll sit there and say some ridiculous shit. Like, I need a gay friend. Like, why do you need a gay friend? So we could go out shopping and partying and having fun. Like, what, a gay dude is an accessory to you? Like, where do you get off as a human being? I need a very flamboyant homosexual to entertain me because I'm insanely boring and privileged. But I'm going to tell you that you're privileged because you're a male. Yeah, I'm privileged, all right. I get to hear you complain about your life and the most ridiculous machinations you can dream up in your little head. And the second that I just decide to, I don't know, just have a very different perspective than you on one of your ridiculous, mundane, stupid, homogenized ideas about love, life, or success, you then tell me I'm a fucking hater because I simply use the power of logic and reason. Because unfortunately, I'm not a very good looking man, so I have to have intelligence. There's no if, ands, or buts. If you're a guy, you had better be intelligent if you're not good looking. If you're not good looking or can play a sport and you're a dude, you better fucking buck up, buttercup, and you man up and come up with a plot or plan or a scheme to make green because nobody gives a shit if you live or die. How many good looking homeless men have you ever seen? I've seen one. And he got like a VMA from fucking, who's that white girl that sticks out her tongue a lot? Molly Cyrus. She like gave her video music award to him and then he sold it on eBay. The only reason why I know is because my mother was telling me about it. Because my mother seems to be a fucking maven of celebrity gossip news. I don't fucking know why. But it's like she always tells me stupid shit that I don't care about. Oh, in the lottery. Oh, my God. Like, just sit there and tell me about what to do if you hit the lottery. And all I can think is, I'm never going to hit the lottery. So I don't need to know what to do if I hit the lottery. I won't blow that money because I'll never, ever have it. I know. I mean, I look at YouTube. Honest to God. I look at YouTube and I realistically look at YouTube and realize that there's a 99.9% .9 chance I'll never accomplish anything on YouTube. So I may as well do this for fun. Because if you come into YouTube with the delusion in your head that you could turn this into a career, you're already fucked and you started off on the wrong fucking foot. I mean, that's all there is to it. I, I know someone personally who like is trying to turn YouTube into a career and is doing a very poor job of it. And then there are like YouTube channels that are actually doing kind of good, but they're complaining because they're not doing good enough, they feel. Like the good old gamer. There's a channel I respect on some levels, even though I feel like it's a little biased in their tech news. Like every five minutes, you're like, 
AMD, AMD, wait for Zen. NVIDIA's evil. Intel is dragging their feet. Yeah, Intel's dragging their feet because they don't have any competition. You can't sit here, look me in the face, and say PewDiePie isn't dragging his feet because he knows he doesn't have any fucking competition. So he's not sweating any bullets just like Intel isn't. It's the belly of the beast. So fucking what? But anyway, good old gamer in the course of two months, like they started out, and they've already surpassed me in subs. They're like a 4K. I mean, they get a lot of views and stuff, but the most recent week of their videos, they feel they haven't been getting enough views and they're now questioning if they should keep doing their channel. And they want people to give their two cents on what they should do or change because it's not worth their time. Their time is very valuable. Well, then, you know what? Quit the fucking channel, dude. Like, really, quit the fucking channel. Since your time is so valuable, you're a stay-at-home dad, one of them, and it's like, you can't sit there and go, my time is very valuable, I'm a stay-at-home dad. Okay, you deal with your fucking kids, you know, they pass out of some time, and then, you know, daddy can make some YouTube videos and complain about not making enough money from YouTube. Like, really, you came at the wrong idea. Yeah, what do they think? They're going to be able to get up there with Linus Tech Tips or something? Linus has been in the game since YouTube started. Do you know how I know? Because I was one of the first people on YouTube. I was making videos back when YouTube started and Linus was still like this fresh, bushy-eyed teenager at NCIX or some shit. So, yeah, he's been in there long enough to know the ins and outs and to build a community. These fucking dudes, a good old gamer, are whining about only getting, like, 600 views on a video that's been up two days. Like, really, guy? Like, if it's that big of a hassle, then fucking quit your channel. You know, you've got, you've got bigger and better things going on. Get to it. You know, if you've got a real job and you, you were thinking this might parlay into something then you know what fuck it and forget it you know forget it get on with your life me i don't have any delusions of grandeur my end game honest to god with this youtube channel was i was hoping i could get enough subscribers to where i could get some free tech stuff and review it yeah that's what i really wanted to do it'd be cool if i got a graphics card every now and then and i could give an honest review about it without having to buy the fucking thing and then end up with extra computer components that i don't need or use and then i end up putting it in another computer for a friend for free what the figgity fuck? But so far that's not working. I did contact a couple of uh, places for uh, sponsorship and it went poorly. And you know what? Fuck it. Who cares? Whatever. You know? It didn't work. So what? Suck my nuts. That's life. Did I make the night vision goggles? Please, God, tell me I did. Sun variant. No, I did not make myself the night vision goggles because I'm a stupid piece of shit. Well, anyway, I contacted... Uh, Huh? Oh, that figures. Is that a dead guy? Okay. I contacted this tool company, I fix it. Now, they gave Linus Tech Tips 12 free, like, tool kits. And they said, don't promote the old ones anymore, the new kits are better, blah, blah, blah. Nice. Now, I figured you think they let me at least have one or give me a substantial discount on like a toolkit and go, hey, you know what? You want to use these on your future builds and, you know, feature them in your future build videos and so on and so forth. Cool. It's free publicity for us. Yeah, your channel's small, but you seem to be growing checking out your metrics and you're an interesting and different type of character. Now, they offer me $10 off an order. 10 fucking bucks. Isn't it the same stuff you give to Linus Tech Tip affiliates? Like, I'm an entire channel where I would definitely put a shout out for your stuff all the time. You know, I don't forget anyone that's cool with me. Uh, they just didn't give a shit. It was like, hey, go fuck yourself. And you know what? Fuck it. Just for that, I'm not going to buy their stuff and feature it. I'm going to buy something else. And I don't care if I pay double for it. <laughs> I will show you what happens when you piss in my face. Hey, whoa, Chaz. Whoa. You're not that big. You shouldn't be like that. You know what? I don't give a shit. You know, if you sit there and let the world just treat you like any other schmuck, that's what you're going to be. All right. Uh, John Waters had a great quote that I remember and I took to heart. <laughs> what about ones who want to get in show business and, and you Good. know... Then a no is free. That's my advice to gay or straight. Ask for what you want. If you get turned down, you always get turned down a lot in the beginning and forever. But so what? A no is free. It doesn't cost to ask for what you want. And John Waters said, ask for what you want because no's are always free. And it's true. You know, no is always free. In fact, you're going to get more no's in your life than anything else. I know this for fucking sure. 
So you may as well go out there and see if you can get what the fuck you want and bring a presence to things. If you let the world treat you like you're just some butt fuck, then that's what the world's going to give to you. My personal opinion on life is go out there and be a damn star. Because frankly, oh, they seem pretty mellow. If only Howard knew how to talk to the Meyer lurks. Like, if you don't just go out there and say to the world, you know what? I'm somebody. You know, there's a difference between saying you are somebody and being an asshole. You know, like, don't get the two confused. Like, go out there, say I am somebody. I have plans to make some moves and I'm going to make them. And then you make those moves, baby. You fucking make them. But if you, you let the world piss in your soup and you take whatever is given to you, you're just fucked.